Gambia so far? Yo, because yeah, we the big G, you know what I mean? The of Gambia, the big G, yeah. So we are here at um, amazing, the amazing bar. Why is it based? Is it still in? Are we still in a uh, Beaufort? Yes. Beaufort Heights. Beaufort Heights, yes. Yes. So it's right near our house. We live uh, in Beaufort Heights, and uh, we came down to the beach to the amazing bar, <laughs> and uh, we are here just relaxing and just uh, you know a weekday at the beach that's like ah, that's like heaven right, and, and imagine at the beach where you can't swim <laughs> so they have to teach us to swim right it's a it's a common thing for west india well, should I say west indians for caribbean people to not be able to swim should I say that best? Because yeah. not all Caribbean no, people can exactly. swim. Exactly. All the Jamaicans can swim. Send Lucia and then. Yeah, can swim. So, as I was saying, <laughs> most, Jama most um, Caribbean people can't swim. But then we have, a, we have beaches all over the islands and we can swim. Most of us. So, when you go to North America, then you are able to learn to swim. And now we are in the Gambia. Who's going to teach us this? The locals. The Gambians. Yeah. The locals with teachers. So we have to get a teacher in the Gambia. So this is going out to all the local. Uh, yeah, learn for swim, but just come at them culture. You understand? You see me? Because you have the beach, so you need to learn to swim to enjoy the beach. Not just the beach, Atlantic Ocean. Uh, yeah, not just Abyss. You see me. <laughs> so. <laughs> Alvin Cardoz has a love that one. <laughs> So um, yeah, so there's another another bar, another place over on the other side where you can hear the music. It's called King Beach Bar. So there are lots of bars on the seashore, sea, sea seashores, sea, sea where you can stop and enjoy some. Uh, and they are Gambian owned. Most of them are Gambian owned. We had the last one we went to, which was Soul Food. It was a uh, uh, diaspora who owned it, owns it. But uh, most this one, I think the other one next door, are Gambian owned. So that is so lovely, you know, that the people are able to have their own businesses in the Gambia, and you know, people are able to come and enjoy and have fun and so on and so on and so on. So. What I want to do today is so far, well, it's just, uh, what do you call it? It's just, uh, oh, this is my, this is my beautiful side base. So I'm going back to this side. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I wanted to ask you, it's just on a whim, babes. Just me asking and just wanting to know. Since you've been here, well, I'm sure those who watch us want to know also how is the dance stuff enjoying the Gambia and uh, since you've been here, you've been here for two weeks? We've been here for two weeks. How, how is it? Like you, you came here as your wife, I know you didn't want to be here. I know you didn't have, you were clueless about what you should expect when you get here, <laughs> right? And I was the one who made the decision and said we are going to the Gambia and we are, that was it for us. And then you were always saying, oh, are you sure? Are you sure this will work? Are you sure we should be doing this and whatever? But now that we get here now, it, it's almost like it has switched. I am the one who's thinking, no, I can't do this. So I'm not sure if I can. <laughs> not in a bad way. It's just that uh, things were not going. We had a rough start and patience. Patience. Patience is a virtue. If you don't have patience, if you are very quick to give up, which I am not, I just, I, don't, I can't handle stress. I can't handle um, stress and tension and, and not, things not going. Especially if you see, I know I planned something and I made plans and, you know, I'm hoping and I've done everything that I have to to make sure that my plans go 
smoothly and it doesn't it stresses me out and I can't handle the stress so um, since we've been here Dan has been every time I would ask him babe are you sure we can do this so it's the other way around me asking him are you sure we can and he's like well I'm not going anywhere this is it for me if anything I'm going to run to the hills right so I wanted to ask you babe like what is it about the Gambia that makes you think this is home for your fam for us for you and your family well <laughs> Jamaica, Jamaica. Well, anyways, watch this. The truth of the matter is, from my perspective, and when I first landed. Guys, um, I killed two more flies. Okay, so Dustin is at, right over here killing flies. He's a fly buster. <laughs> Thank you, Dustin. Fly right, buster. Yeah, no, for me, really and truly, when I landed here, how can I put it? It's, it's like, yeah, it's like Gambia, yeah, Gambia is like um, Jamaica and steroids, yeah, Gambia is literally like Jamaica and steroids, 2.0, without the violence, no gun, not a firecracker, just pure peace, peace, and more peace very, yeah very yeah, yeah. Quiet, very peaceful yeah. so for me right now i'm just in serious rest mode yeah rest mode so i always yeah I'm, I'm just resting you know what i mean uh. and you know why i think that's the case because you as you said you are in the in rest mode but me because i was the one who was planning everything and make i want to make sure that my family is okay my this my plan for coming here my reason, one of my greatest reasons for coming here was to make sure that my husband was able to rest. For him to feel he can stop working and he's able to rest and relax and enjoy life without any stress. Right? That was our plan for you, babe. That was my plan for you to be here and to be able to relax, to stop this. We've had our clean business for 10 years. It, well, should I say 10? 11. Going up to 12 years. Right, and he's been working, working, working non stop since every night. So, imagine having a job where you have to go to work every single night for 11, 12 years. And it wasn't a job, it was a business. So, he, he didn't only shine. rain or shine, snow, snow, rain or shine. Right? He had to be there. And it wasn't just a job where you can go and just do what you want and go back home. It was a business that he had to take care of. So, if those who work for us, are not able to make it, then he has to go in to make sure that James running smoothly and the customers are satisfied, right? So that I think that is why you are you feel uh, easy that you are um, in rest mode and you are you have no worries anymore because you don't have to, to go, you don't have to stress yourself out, and which is very good. I'm happy about that. But because I am the one who's focusing on. Uh, making sure that everything goes smoothly when it comes to our business, when it comes to oh, our food is there. Oh my God. Wow, we are coming. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, um, oh, we want to be here. Um, can you bring it here? Can we have it up here? Thank you so much. Thank you. And we can pick up our... Thank you so much. Oh, two of them. Yeah, one, two, three. Oh, one chicken get cut in two? Yes. Yeah, half-half. What else are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the way we do it. Half-half. Oh, so that's a whole... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Thank you. We're going to do it. Okay, this yes. is good. <laughs> Looks delicious. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, okay. This thing? Stop, okay. Daddy, stop killing flies, baby. Come and eat. So we should sit on the platter and enjoy the food first. Not the flat, yeah. whatever. So I'll carry them. 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 I'll bring them. I'll bring them. I'll bring them. So we were interrupted for a brief minute, but um, we will continue shortly. You have a lot of flies in this. You want to go on this one? And you can pull that chair. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. 
My husband treats me like a queen. What more can I ask for? <laughs> what more can I ask for? So we've just eaten and we're going for a walk. Mommy? Yes? Oh, are you recording? Yes, I am. Good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. The hungry mom. Hungry mom. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the pop and the what? When I think about it, best I don't think anything. Are you recording? Yes, I am. Because if you the ocean here, see Ago Ramen. What? <laughs> you call the ocean here what? See Ago Ramen. Okay. You have to wait. Destiny is always extra. Yeah, so we are going for a walk. We just had our. Because it says lunch. or. I want to say Some or. is always taking over my, my video. Why is this? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so we're gonna go for or a walk down the beach and we want to just show you guys what's going on. I'm going to look at I'm going in the water. Go, 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 go. Mom, do not go too deep. Let's see, Mom. Hold, hold my hand. Hold my hand. I must you hold your hand. You have to hold my hand. I, I am holding the camera there, Steen. You guys are going to push me in the water. And I'm We're holding the camera. Go, Mom. Mommy, are you going back?
opponent when your moment comes grab hold and own it never let go stand tall and hold tight overcoming obstacles is the objective in life 